In September, his church was burglarized multiple times. The thieves getting away with nearly $10,000 in items meant to help immigrants build new lives in Northeast Ohio. If you know you're in need, I'd rather have had those people just tell me they were in need and we'd, we wouldn't mind helping them. We wouldn't mind helping them find the resources. Then in October, News 5 brought hopeful news to the church. Police had identified a lead in the case. So before us coming, you didn't know anything? Nope, that, that, that was pretty much it. And so when we came, you found out a little bit more information. I sure did. And in November, News 5 followed through yet again, learning the suspect is facing multiple charges. Ultimately, you hope that person finds some sort of redemption, right? But at the same time, as this goes on, reflects on what, what they did uh, to hurt many others. And tonight, a new development in this story, as you've seen, we've been following for months. In September, when that theft happened, the church says the suspect even took toys being collected for kids this Christmas. But as Northeast Ohioans do, when neighbors are in need, people stepped up to help. And I was like, wow. Wow, indeed. The good people at Bins and Things heard all about this. Called my partner and I was just like, hey, what do you think? Let's, let's help him out. And he was like, there's no question. But there was an answer. We, we really did try and mix it up as much as possible. Okay. I threw some toys in there. I threw some neon lights. That's why Ryan's business donated about $2,000 worth of toys to replace the ones stolen. Did it without even really thinking about it. So did a local Jeep club, the Japitos Locos. It's a group that does this kind of thing year round, give back. Club members coming through with bags and boxes stuffed with toys. It comes from within. We want to be the difference. I mean, like, you got to do it. So they did. After something so ugly, something this kind and beautiful, and it was almost a reflex reaction. That means so much. Even with the smallest of gestures of gifts, it, it, it makes all the difference for not just for the families, but for the children too. Because they see that somebody cares and is compassionate towards them. Three times those families, those kids, saw the worst. This time, they see the best, the best of us, at the best time of the year. Christmas lost? Hardly. It's saved because it matters. You know, again, we just try and be the people that we want to be in our community. And help it. It's, that's basically the feed that in my soul needs. Pastor Viscarando says the toys are being given out to kids this Sunday, Christmas Eve, at the Refined Church.